All right, Andrew, it's your lucky day. So I came across this post. This guy uses a um, Wacom tablet to edit in Premiere, and so he doesn't have stuff like scrolling available to him like most of us do. So he can't do stuff like this. And this is accelerated scrolling, actually. The real scrolling is far slower. It's like that, but I've added an acceleration script with auto hotkey. So um, uh, pro tip, page down and page up actually will do something in Premiere. If you go to the keyboard shortcuts, uh, page, page down, uh, ignore that, but it's show next screen and show previous screen. Those are the default, the default shortcuts. Um, so that'll work, but I don't like that because you lose context. Like, oh, did I just go up or did I go down? You don't know. So I've made you a script. Check this out. Ooh, that's much nicer, isn't it? You can scroll around and you don't need a uh, scroll wheel. How did I do it? The magic of auto hotkey. So very simple code. Um, you can ignore these little uh, twiddly doos. Those are just for me. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Basically, while you're holding down F11 and F12, because you know you're not using those keys for anything else probably, it will just send wheel up or wheel down commands. Now there's a much simpler way to do this, which is really stupid. Check this out. This is this is the worst thing you can do. Like this will work. I'm gonna save this. Oh, oh crap, that is the wrong thing that I pushed. What did I just do? Oh. <sighs> Whew. Double click on that instead. Um, okay, so watch this. Notice. Oh, here, uh, so you can see the visualizer. I'll just add the little twiddly do back in there. Save. This is the best solution to your problem, bro. Okay, now you can see the shortcuts. So notice how I'm gonna push, push the button down, and then it goes once, it waits, and then it keeps going, okay? F11. So what that is, is, you know, when you're just typing in a document or whatever, and you press like L or K, notice how it, it does one and then it waits and then it does the rest. That's what happens when you bind a key directly to another key. It just uses that built-in functionality, and that's why I don't like it. Now, the one thing that's good about that, again, I'm just giving you some keys that you can use as a scroll wheel. The one thing that is good about that is if you want blend modes, um, it's much easier, oh, hang on, is that actually, what version of the script am I in? Yeah, that should be pretty simple, that should be all right. Like when I use my mouse, that's easy. This is going more than one at a time. I don't know why, I thought that that would go like just one at a time. Maybe this just behaves differently. Huh, okay, well never mind. I was about to say that this is the only reason why you'd want to use that version of the script. So forget it, this is dumb all around. So let's uh, comment that out, comment this back in. Uh, save. In order to launch this script, you just double click on it. You have to have auto hotkey installed. I can make you a .exe, and then you don't have to install auto hotkey. That's really easy to do, I'll just do it. And it'll all be available in my GitHub right from Terran's Premiere Mods. I just put this up, there's the scroller. So you can just go to the raw and then say Control S and save this. Um, or I'll have the EXE for you. But you know, I just, I can't, you know, I can't bear to see a guy who uses a Wacom tablet have to suffer because there's no scroll wheel on it. So now you can scroll around in, in uh, Premiere. And this won't work in, um, Something like, uh, let's see, well, you can't see it, uh, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, oh, oh goodness, okay. The, the point is F11 and F12, they function normally in other programs uh, because I have this little guy here, if when active. And if you want, you can take this, you can put it at the end, and then you can do like more stuff here. Um, because everything after this point only works in Premiere Pro. So there you go, there's your solution. This is gonna work, I don't know, far better than, than what even is the hand tool? Than just doing this with your, you know, I mean, this is okay, but look at the delay. This is uh, just smooth and easy. And if you want, you can change the, uh, 
can change the delay. This is between like when it's sending the wheel downs or whatever. So you can go twice as fast with this. And if you want to change the keys, if you don't want F11 and F12, like maybe you want to put it on on uh, the, the plus key of the numpad. I think that's actually like, it's like numpad, numpad add, yeah. Um, you can do that instead. But then what you have to do is also put it there. Um, and then it'll work as a different key. Let's not do that. Save, and now what did I change? I changed the duration. So let's just double click on that Shiite, and it's twice as fast. Is it? Is that twice as fast? I don't know. Anyway, play with it, have fun, Mr. Wacom Tablet, and bye-bye. Uh,